So today we'll be repasting a 1660 Super. This particular model is made by EVGA, I believe it's called the Knockout Series. They do no longer make cards, but they made some beautiful cards back in the day. Now this one's a little bit dusty, as you can see I flip it around here. Only a 6 gigabyte card as well. So flipping it over here, we start with these four screws here. Now, we will get to breaking this seal, but I usually like to start counterclockwise. Now breaking this seal here. Tried to get it off without breaking it, but yes. sometimes you just gotta go through. Now all you gotta do is when you get to this point, there's a little screw over here. You can take the back bracket off if you want to. I was going to do that, but after taking a closer look, you can just kind of pop this fan piece over the bracket. Just be careful that you're not bending the PCB and you're bending the bracket instead. All you gotta do is pull it apart like that and there you go. It's in pieces. Now that we've got this sucker apart, I usually like to get the bulk off with a q-tip or just whatever you can wipe the bulk off with. Then I take a little isopropyl and soak it on a q-tip or I have little isopropyl wipes here I use. This is usually recommended just to make sure you get all of the residue off of the card. Now cleaning up the rest of the residue here with the q-tip, I'm going to move over to the PCB here in a second. and. Typically I like to unplug the fan from the PCB because it just makes it a little bit easier to maneuver everything around. You're not dragging the whole fan with it. Now like I said, to get off the bulk paste I typically like to grab myself a q-tip. I just kind of drag it across the edges, pick up all the bulk on the sides first, and then I just keep sweeping until I see a little bit of that shine underneath. Now there are little tiny resistors you need to be careful of when you're doing this. You'll see those little dots right there that are next to my q-tip. Just don't knock those off and you're all good. Now finishing up with my polish with the q-tip here, I'm going to bring a 2080 Ti over just so you can see the size difference in the GPU dies. Now it is recommended to replace your thermal pads. I'm going to because mine were dusty as hell. Just be aware that they're awkwardly thick and kind of hard to find. Now typically my process for putting the paste on the die is I put a little dime like this and I get a spatula off from the side. Now the main thing that you want to pay attention to is just trying to get the paste spread over every corner and every bit of the die. If it goes off the side, it doesn't matter. When you stock open the card, most likely there's paste everywhere, so your, your paste is always going to be more neat. Or you could also just put it on there in the dime and squish the card together. I just like to make sure every corner of the die is covered. Now finishing off the paste, I'm just going to bring the fan back over here and get it plugged in. Now while I'm fumbling around with this, if you haven't already, hit subscribe. Maybe drop a like on this. After getting that plugged in, I'm just making sure everything's dusted off and clean and ready to go back together. Now this card is a little bit funky when putting it back together, especially if you do not remove the back bracket, but I just like to take it over here from the side, stick the back bracket over the fan shroud at first and line my holes up. Now just be very slow with this process and 
if your holes aren't exactly lined up, it doesn't really matter. Give it a really good press. As you can see, I'm a little bit off here, so I just squish it into the right angle and give it a good press. Now moving on to putting the screws back in. The same method I use to take it apart where I do a little bit of a cross left or right, I do the same method when putting it back together. I put each screw in about halfway at first. Now that I've got all my screws about halfway in, I do the same X pattern, tightening them all the way down. Now with this last screw, you got a freshly repasted 1660 Super. Hopefully this helps your temps, and if not, you might have some other underlying issues. Now if you've watched this far, I appreciate the watch time. Leave a like, maybe subscribe if you haven't already, and check my description for the new uh, Counter-Strike channel. We'll hopefully be posting some more content over there soon, and hopefully some more content over here more frequently.